Traveling alone wasn't a choice. It kind of just ended up that way. But I'm grateful for it because hard things always make me grow the most. When I moved out of Los Angeles, I didn't really have a really good game plan. So now I'm just making it up as I go along. I've gone through a lot of hotels since being here. I can't seem to commit to just one, so I keep hopping around, which isn't really smart, I guess. But here we are in Sydney in another capsule hotel, and today I'm gonna take you along in a day in the life of a solo traveling female, well, <laughs> of me. I don't think anybody else travels this way. So I guess the first thing I do is I wake up and then I try to have breakfast, which was hard to eat because it was too loud because I'm too lazy to go to the kitchen. <laughs> It's then shower time. In these types of hotels, everything's separated. The kitchen, the bathrooms, the showers, and the sleeping area. When I shower, I take my bag full of the things I use and I use this coconut oil shampoo right now and I use this kind of soap free crystal cleanser. I don't know what hippie shit this is and then I put lotion on every single time I shower. I only wash the front of my bangs because I don't have to wash my dreads every day, which is nice. Um, I do my own nails. Fun fact, I've never actually had a real manicure with like fake nails before. I think someday I probably should. What do you think? Now I know it's not socially acceptable to wear makeup to the gym, but I just like to put it on the morning before everything because I don't like to have to keep going back to get ready, so I just like to get it done all at once. Fortunately, there was a Snap Fitness close by every hotel I stayed at, which was really nice to be able to walk to. I'm so close to being done with my personal training certification. It's taken longer than I anticipated because I've been traveling and being unorganized, but I'm really close to being done. A lot of people wonder what these bands are, and they're RBF bands, which stands for Restricted Blood Flow, and I've just been trying them out for a little bit now. Um, you can lift less weight and still get a good pump with them. And not that I have the biggest booty in the world or anything like that, but I'd say the best workout for growing glutes or getting stronger legs is hip thrusts. Highly recommend. So I just got done from the gym. I find it really weird vlogging here compared to uh, Japan now because I don't understand what I'm saying so it's awkward but it doesn't matter I'm trying to just be I've gotten really timid now that I'm all alone traveling and that it's the same language and, but a different kind of, it's weird I don't know I don't know anyone here so it doesn't matter <laughs> so I haven't done a lot of socializing since I've been here I've been working on my personal training certificate and I've just been um, 
editing and get, catching up on a bunch of stuff. So I haven't really socialized and I am super, super alone. So I have to do laundry in my capsule hotel. So I'm getting laundry detergent. I know this is exciting stuff, but hey, this is the real stuff. We're gonna get into um, a super cool adventure that's gonna last a couple weeks even soon. But for now, sunlight, I'm just trying to catch up on all this stuff. So I figured I'd just take you guys along, kind of like a, a chill day uh, in my life. So we're going to Kohl's right now. No, I only want to get a small, a small laundry thing. So just a little one. <laughs> What would an Australian vlog be without a shot of Vegemite, which I still have yet to try. It's the cheapest laundry detergent I've ever bought. Since I move around countries a lot, sometimes the currency gets confusing and it's hard for me to remember how to pay with it. <laughs> I got my laundry detergent and someone came up to me and they're like, you look kind of unhappy. So they gave me, they gave me a, they're like, here, you can have this gourmet ice cream. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. No one's been talking to me much here and stuff and I have been kind of depressed lately. So that's kind of funny, but uh, that's, I don't eat ice cream, but um, maybe I'll pass it along to someone else. I'm gonna do laundry now. I got my change. Um, I'm just looking awkwardly carrying this around. I don't know what to do with it. I think it's maybe it's awkward to hand it to somebody like I was going to do. A few years ago, I would think nothing of that. I'd be just like, here, you want some ice cream? But now I just feel so timid about everything. It's weird. I don't know why. So I'm gonna do my laundry now. Queens here are weird. This is $2. I just realized it's four dollars and I don't have that much. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna dry my clothes. this detergent in here in case anyone needs to use it because I'm not gonna take it with me. $1.50 is like a dollar detergent so hopefully it cleans. Now I don't have a jacket and I'm gonna be cold. I haven't been eating as much as usual and it's really not gonna be good for gains, muscle gains, so I'm just maintaining right now. I'm not focused on gains right now, so I'm having a sandwich and blueberries and a probiotic drink. Someone stole my bag, so now I don't have it. I had to carry all my clothes by hand back, but it was fine. And then I had a protein drink, which was kind of gross. This next portion is kind of me just being in my feels a lot, and I'm sorry if I'm whiny or annoying. Hey. So, I didn't get to finish the day in the life because I feel like I feel, I don't know, I've felt very unfocused lately, um, but I'm going to continue the, that day in the life today. Um, I have a pretty big announcement. I, uh, I have this one small hotel room for a night before I go off grid. Let me show you the hotel room and why I'm going off grid. We'll continue this this day. Just pretend like it's the same day. This is my room. It's very small. I really do love the buildings here. Tomorrow, I'm taking an overnight train and that'll be a whole nother video. I'm so stressed about that because I have luggage and I've never taken an overnight train before and I'm going out in the middle of nowhere 
I'm not even gonna have much electricity. Where am I going? I'm going to a wildlife reserve to volunteer. One of my goals of coming to Australia is to interact with the wildlife. It's in between Sydney and Melbourne, more towards Melbourne. So I'm gonna take an eight hour train ride there and then a bus and then they're gonna pick me up and take me to the reserve, which again is out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm going to document all of this. I don't know if there's electricity. I don't know if there's Wi-Fi. I don't know anything. And this is really difficult for me and something that's a big challenge because I'm kind of neurotic about my routines and certain things that I do and I I obsessively like I shower like sometimes twice a day and I'm not even gonna allow, be allowed to shower every day I have to pick up some things I need to get some wet wipes I need to get a jacket because it's gonna be cold I looked at the weather today and I was like oh, it's winter time here so it's gonna be cold I don't know how it's gonna go I'm gonna show you the process of it um things are hard for me sometimes I had to stay in a bunk room with other people. And I'm gonna show you the whole experience of, you know, volunteering out in the middle of nowhere in Australia. We're gonna see some kangaroos and some koalas and all those types of animals. So I hope that you'll uh, stick around to see all the babies. And they won't even have a gym or anything around the area or even a town. So you guys know how like obsessive I am about certain things. Um, this may not, you guys are probably like, oh, boo-hoo, but I just, like I said, I just struggle with certain things. Spontaneity is hard for me, believe it or not. Um, doing things alone is very hard for me. Being around people constantly with no escape is the hardest thing for me. And just being in the city, but also being alone, but also being around people has been hard. And then stay tuned for the overnight train video. Me taking an overnight train. Pathetic. It's so weird. Um, let's just go and, and uh, get our supplies that we need for tomorrow and just you know, take one step at a time. So they don't have towels there, so I got a towel and I have to get baby wipes because I can't shower every day. So, what baby wipes to get? What kind of baby wipes would you get to clean? to shower with. Um, I'll get cheap ones. Let's see. Lightly scented, fragrance free. I think we should get a scented one. Soft and thick. Okay, I'm back in my hotel room, which I booked another night at it because I got no sleep at all last night. So everything is kind of like crazy. And I, was, I got up this morning and I was just like freaking out because if I don't get sleep, I get really just crazy and I'm like, I need sleep. I like, I have to, I, I'm gonna take this long journey and I need to get some sleep. So I booked another night just so I get some sleep and I'm just like, I don't have the money for this, but the craving to sleep is so strong sometimes when I, you don't get, when I don't get enough sleep. So I'm really, really just nervous about everything. I know it's not a big deal to some people, but there's certain little routines that I have that just keep me Insane-ish, so we'll see how insane I get here and what happens. Um, so this is the only towel that they had there, and, uh, and then I got the baby wipes that I was going to because I can't shower every day because they have to shave. They have to save the water for the animals. So there's 80 pack here. I think that'll last me two weeks. And then I got some stuff to eat um, on the train. So I got this little snack pack. It's just like a, a little hummus waffle thing, and then some. Vegetables and fruits, cloudy apple, pure apple juice. I'm gonna check out of this hotel early, which sucks because the whole reason that I got a hotel room was so I could record some voiceovers and edit some videos, but I didn't even get to do that. Ah, I'm so flustered. Which the way that I've been traveling has been insanely hard. These two suitcases, I just need to find some stability in my life. But this is the chaotic adventures of a, me. I'm gonna sign off on this video right here, but stay tuned for the next video of all about what it's like to travel in a train, overnight train from Sydney. And um, yeah, I'm leaving Sydney. So after that, I, I'll either go to Melbourne or maybe I'll travel to a different country or I, think, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but stay tuned for what I'm gonna do. Because I don't know either and it's very exciting. I love you very much. Jake, stress gel. Stay tuned, please.
just come with me, okay? Bye.